Hi everyone, I'm John. I'm here from UniTaste Studies and this is designed as a 20 minute introduction in terms of how UniTaste Studies can support your school. And I'm absolutely delighted today to be joined by Jess as well. And, and how we're going to structure this is Jess is going to, um, I'm going to talk for about 10 minutes in terms of, of how UniTaste Studies can support your school with university guidance. Then Jess is going to do um, about five minutes practically talking about how in practical terms, Unitaste Studies can support you because Jess is, if you don't know Jess already, the founder of the Careers People. So she provides career support to a lot of schools and, and therefore uses Unitaste Studies a fair bit. And we we work really closely with Jess as well. So big welcome, Jess. Right then. So let's get started straight away. In terms of, of Unitaste Studies, I'll, I'll start with a little story. It's only short, but it will give you a bit of context in terms of, of how we help schools. So I started Unitaste Studies back in 2012. The reason I did is I was working at a university. We were putting on events for schools and it was just a challenge to promote the events we had. You know, some events would, would be really easy, some events more challenging. And my wife was then and still is now a teacher and she was trying to engage with the university, but she was contacting the wrong people at the union and therefore not getting the event she wanted. So I started Uni Taste Days as the middle ground between schools and universities. So if a school wants an event, we're there to support them with it. But also if you're a university and you've got a brilliant event and you want to advertise it to schools to, to book for school groups, we can they, the university can then use Uni Taste Days as a way to get that out to schools. And they always say when you start with a business to start with a why. And my why is that I'm a massive advocate of university guidance. The reason I do what I do and spend a lot of time doing what I do in terms of this university event space is I just think university events for schools is absolutely crucial. So students make informed decisions. It's not about saying to students, you need to go to university. That's not why I do what I do whatsoever. It's about providing the information about university so students can make really good decisions. Because the reality is, about 40% of students at school will go to university and probably spend three years, if not more, at uni. And if 40% of students at school go to uni and spend three years there, it's so important they're picking a course they like, a university they like, but also studying in an area they like, because there's lots of data there. When you look at graduate outcome data, that will tell you that students that go to university are very likely, up to about 50% likely to stay in that location to live even five years after they finish uni. So those university decisions are crucial on course, on university, but also on area. And I think the more that we can do to support schools in terms of university and support students in terms of universities and build those links, the better. And that's that's why I do what I do. But I won't say too much more about that. I'm going to talk about the resources. So what is Unitaste Today's and how can it help your school or college? The first thing to say is we, in the main, support in terms of events. So if you have, if you want an event for your school, we are a really good place to support you in terms of making that event happen. What I'm going to do is, is, is share my screen and just talk through some of the resources on Unitaste Days, which I think is a, is a good way of doing that. And, and what I'll be doing is, is showing you the live Unitaste Days website. So this is stuff that if you don't, you know, perhaps you're, you're at a school that don't engage so much with universities at the moment. This is all stuff you can be doing straight after this call, if, if time permits. So this is the Unit Ace Days homepage. How we structure the site is we've got three menus at the top. We've got the teacher's menu, we've got a student's menu, and we've got a parent's menu. So in terms of, of your bit, talking to those working in schools, this is the menu that you will be using. This has got the resources for you. But that said, we've got lots of resources for the students, lots of resources as well for parents. So if you do, for example, want to share some resources for university with your students, there's loads here that will help them. We've got a a uni guide podcast which is a university guidance podcast we've got a a one in five podcast which is a podcast to support disabled students when it comes to university guidance we produce a student's guide to university brochure for students and there's no registration required for this stuff they can get it straight away at the moment if you click that it will say coming soon because the 2024 edition is coming this week and then we have things like a jargon buster as well but so there's there's lots of resources for students there's also lots of resources for parents so if you do want to engage parents more with university guidance, we produce a parent's guide to university brochure every year. But we've also got lots of resources for parents there as well. So whereas today I'm going to talk about the teacher side and how we can help you, do bear in mind that we can support students and also parents when it comes to university. But I want to concentrate on this menu here, which is the students one. So if you want to arrange an event for your school, the first tab is the search events for school groups one. If you click that, what that will do is then take you to the main search and, and there you can then say what you're looking for. So if you're looking for events for key stage five students, 
key, key stage five, search for events, you will then see all the events available. And you can see there, there is 1400 events there offered by universities UK wide. So there's loads of events in the search and you can also search by filters. So if you want you know, a particular subject, you can search by subject, etc. If I go back to the menu, the other new recently launched uh, part of the site is the regional platform. And I'm so excited about this. This is going to, I think this is a game changer. Um, what this regional platform will do is allow you to see contacts for your region. So if you work at a school and you want to engage with a university that's potentially many, many, many miles away, that university that you want to engage with might well have a regional contact. And then what you can do is put your school name in. I'm just going to put in a school um, really quickly, just as an example. Put your school in and then you can then see the universities that are closest to you. So I've just searched for a school in Shropshire here as an example. You can see this school in Shropshire has got within 14 miles Wrexham University, 15 miles Gloucestershire, University of South Wales, 18, 18 miles away, University of Plymouth, 18 miles away, Aberystwyth, 18 miles away, Lancaster, 18 miles away. So even though the contact at the university, the contact will work at university that's perhaps a long way away, you can actually contact universities that are, are far away but actually members of staff that are located very close to you. So these members of staff will probably live very close to you as where your school is, even though they work for university a long way away. And if you have a contact that you're really interested in engaging with, I don't know, Jeff at Aberystwyth, for example, you can click the profile, read a little bit more about Jeff, but also send a direct message to Jeff if you want to contact Jeff to see if he is available for coming into your school or even support with arranging an event at his university or her university, if it's a female colleague that you, you're looking at. So this regional platform is is was only released, released a few months ago and, and we've already got you know, over a hundred contacts on there. So it's gonna be great. Um, it already is great, but we're gonna be adding contacts for universities all the time. So if you do wanna engage with the university outside your area, the regional platform is a really easy and great convenient way to do that. Going back to my um, menu here, the other thing you can do is request event support. So if you perhaps have a look on the search platform and you can't find the event you're looking for, or you look at the regional platform and there's not a university in the within say 20, 30 miles of you, but you still want support, you can also send send bespoke requests to universities. And, and again, this is a really useful tool if you've got an event in mind. So for things like a careers fair, you could then se select on here, university support for my careers fair, put in your school, just use the Albury Wales example just here that I just used a second ago. And then from there, put in your requirements. I won't complete all this just for the sake of time, but what you can ultimately do is select the universities you'd like to engage with from a list. And you can select for a careers fair up to 20, but also you can send a message and that message goes out to universities for you. So if you compare that to, to contacting lots of individual contacts at unis, you'll probably find that this is a much more convenient way of, of doing that. Not to say that you know your direct relationships are with universities can stop. Um, you've, you're welcome to use those too, but but our resources are all free. And the main thing we do and the main drive we have is to make things as easy as possible for schools as we can. So I'm going to go back to my menu here. You can also register for event updates. So that's if you want regular emails when we launch things like the Parents Guide to University, the Students Guide to University, or the Teachers Guide to University brochures, or if there's a particular event that, that might be interesting for you you then get regular emails from us. We've got a video platform. So what the video platform is there to do is support students when it comes to picking university subjects. If you put yourself in the shoes of a student, they have got loads of choices ahead of them. They've got the choice, do they want to go to uni? They've got a choice of which universities do they want to apply to? And they've got five choices usually to make that happen. And then also they've got the choice of university subject. And and lots of students just say they haven't got a clue. We talk to students all the time and say they don't know what they want to study. They haven't got a clue. So what the video library will do is introduce students to studying lots of different subjects. The videos tend to be about 10 minutes long. They are impartial. They're not promotional at all for universities at all. They are there purely to support students to make really good decisions. And we feature lots of different universities, as you can see from the list if I scroll. So we've got Winchester here, Winchester, Cardiff. Cardiff, University of Law, Leeds Trinity, University, Middlesex University of London. Yesterday, we, we recorded a introduction for veterinary nursing featuring the Royal Veterinary College. So we're adding the subjects all the time, a really useful resource that you might wish to use with students 
but also students can access directly. And this is in the, the students menu as well. We produce a podcast that is for students, but also for school colleagues. So again, if you want to, there's a particular topic that you want to brush up on. You know, it might be student finance, for example. You can listen to the podcast. There's 27 episodes now, and it's just a case of scrolling through to find episodes that might be of interest to you. We produce blogs for teachers. We have a annual teacher's guide to university brochure, which is really, really popular. The content for that is supplied by university colleagues throughout the UK. So fantastic resource there. And it, it, there's the current edition. I think it's got about 100 pages, 60 odd colleagues at universities that have supplied editorial. Martin Lewis has supplied the editorial on student finance. A really useful guide there when it comes to university guidance for you as a teacher or a careers colleague. And then the, the final two things I wanted to mention before I pass on to Jess is resources. The resources page, I think, is 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 going to be really useful for you. That is where we've got all our brochures that you might want to share with parents, the students, but also the brochure for teachers as well. But then very new and but also very useful is we launch we've launched display screen content. So if you want resources for your display screen in your school. So, for example, the schools that have got display screens that you know, perhaps are used for blaze reminders, etc. If you want some university event updates, we clay all this for you. And it, it basically is a slide deck of about 15 slides. and It works on a natural rotation and it's just a really nice visual that you might want to use, but also it engages it encourages students to engage perhaps with universities by finding out about details about open days. And, and on this page, we've got notice board posters and things there um, as well for you. And then the final thing is just telling you about our university jargon muster. Now, if you work a lot with universities, you will know that universities do like jargon. They like acronyms, they like jargon. And not everyone knows what universities are talking about when they say things like HE or they say things like WP or HEI. So what we've done is basically create a jargon buster that is going to support you with that. And it's it's probably I've got no evidence to back this up, but it's probably the, the biggest jargon bust there is when it comes to university. If I just put in UCAS as an example, you can see there's absolutely loads of, of, of references there in relation to UCAS for each one. So do check out the jargon buster. Certainly if you get an email from a university and you don't know what you know, the university is talking about, particular jargon. And then... The final thing to say, and I'm just going to stop my share for this before I pass to Jess, is a lot of our resources can be embedded into your school website as well. So if you want to have the jargon buster for your school website, or if you want to have the podcast for your school website, or if you want a video feed for your school website, we can supply those. So certainly, you know, in terms of the Gatsby benchmarks and things, if you if you do want to build your careers resources, there is loads of resources there that we can actually supply, and it's all free. Everything we do for schools is, is free of charge. There's no there's no you know, commercial arm to this for you. We're sustainable because universities pay to be members and we're you know, quite lucky that we work with most universities now in, in the UK, the vast, vast majority of them. So Jess, if I can, I'm going to pass to you for the last five minutes just to talk in a practical context in terms of, of how Unitasis is useful for schools. Absolutely. Thank you, John. Hi, everyone. Um, for those of you that know me, it's nice to see you virtually again. And for those of you that don't, my name is Jess. I'm a careers advisor by trade, if you like. Um, and I also own, as John said, the careers people. And we do lots of work with schools supporting careers programs in, in various different ways. So I'm I'm going to try and keep this to the five minute time because I do waffle on a little bit sometimes and I'm going to skip the things that are obvious. So, for example, I'm not going to tell you how to use the display screens. It's obvious. You send it to IT, they put it on your display screens. It's really straightforward. But actually, there's some quite clever things you can do um, with some of the other resources that maybe are not as straightforward or you haven't thought of. Some of these things I've used myself and some of them I haven't used on the ground, but could see that it would work in some setting. So there's a mixture of both. So firstly, um, as John mentioned, being able to integrate all of the different resources onto your website is great, particularly the Jargon Buster. Um, I think it's a really good tool for benchmark three, um, meeting the needs of all pupils. If you think about our pupils that are first in family to go to university, um, they might have only just learned what a university is, let alone the hundreds of words that come up around university that they don't know what they mean. Their parents don't know what they mean, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure you're all thinking of, you know, someone in your school or a cohort in your school that you think actually you're right. 
there's so many words that say they went to read a blog on the Uni Taste Today site, the UCAS site or any other website, they might get five words in and come up with a word that they've never heard of before. And if they could um, go to your school website, go to your careers page, type it in as John showed a minute ago and learn what that word means, that is going to be so helpful for them um, to be able to understand university and really aid their research, especially if they are first in family. The other good thing that you can do with the Jargon Buster is link it on your action plans. So if you're an advisor um, working in a school or a number of schools, when you send your action plan out to the student or to the school, if you work in that way, you might have like a useful links um, part or you might have, I don't know, a, a generic statement at the top of your action plans. And if you link the Jargon Buster in there, then if there's any words that you use that students don't understand or if in their research and their actions that you're setting them, them, there's words they don't understand they've got a direct place to be able to go to search that even if it's not integrated on your website you can signpost them to the uni taste today's website to utilize that tool and then the last thing I meant, wanted to mention with the Jargon Buster is that you can um, generate it into a QR code. If you don't know how to do that, um, don't worry, I will speak with John and we can sort that out and we can get a QR code generated. And then if you've got like a university board in your school, like a physical board on the wall, you can put the QR code on there. Um, obviously, this would have to be a setting whereby students are allowed to get their phones out. And I know that rule is different in every setting. But if you are a school where they're allowed their phone out, they can then scan and go straight through to the jargon buster. So if they're reading your university board and um, there's some words on there that they don't know what they mean, they've got those explanations there, which I think would be really helpful. Um, regional contacts, as John mentioned, is a new feature. And I absolutely agree that it's a game changer because, you know, there's universities. I'm based in Swindon. I've now got contacts at like Aberystwyth University, um, Leicestershire University, people that I didn't even know would come all the way down here and work down here. But actually, they cover our region, um, which is awesome. And I would have never known that if it wasn't for the regional contacts element. So if you've got any tutor time talks, any assemblies that you would like to do, I run for one of our schools, I run their tutor program for year 13. And when it comes to a university topic like um, student finance, how to pick a course, etc, etc, et, cetera, et cetera, rather than um, delivering everything myself, we have a different uni do every talk. And I think you could probably feel three terms of, with different universities talks because they have such a varied range of talks and if you reach out to them they will fit it into your tutor time slot so don't worry if it's usually a 30 minute or 45 minute talk advertised on their website they can um, amend it to your needs and deliver it in a tutor time slot sometimes they're able to come in sometimes it's virtual but we've had some really great talks that have been booked using that regional contacts tool so definitely utilize that as much as you can um, new partnerships and new links, obviously, in line with Benchmark 7, there's some really good opportunities there to be able to um, meet people from universities that maybe you've never visited before and don't know too much about. Um, and then another thing that's been around a little while now and I've been using for years is the event requests. So rather than having to um, ping out emails left, right and centre about your careers fair to invite universities, you can just send one message to up to 10 universities at a time on the Uni Taste Today's website. And therefore, one, it's less time for you. But secondly, you know that it's going to the right inbox as well. Um, so that's really, really helpful. And it's such a time saver if you are arranging a careers fair. Um, and then my very last thing is the guides. So there's a tutor, um, sorry, teacher's guide. There's also a parent guide and a student guide from Unitaste today. It's all really current, up-to-date, relevant topics. You can link them on your website. You can send them out and you can print them and put them in your careers library as well. So quite a few different ways there that your stakeholders can access them. Um, yeah, and then the last thing is the webinars. So the talks that John has got on demand on the website, share them with your teachers. As we know, we want a whole school approach wherever possible with careers, get everybody involved and teachers can use them directly in their classrooms as well. God, that was a whistle stop, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, brilliant, Death. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we, but we did say it was going to be 20 minutes and we managed to do 20 minutes. So thank you so much. If I can support in any way in terms of university, university links or anything else the easiest way of getting hold of me is by email that's john j-o-n at unitasterdays.com thanks so much for joining us and jess big thanks to you too for joining us hope this has been useful thank you